Yeah? You excited? He's like so excited, he's beside himself. Toby, come here. Come he's, on. he's just confused because you're doing it, not me. Good boy. Oh, oh, my oh my goodness. Oh, we're so excited. Oh, we're so excited. Okay. No, buddy. No, thank you. Nose legs. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I know. I know. Bye. Oh, hello again. You're so beside yourself. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Alrighty. I will. I have some fun, huh? Yeah. Okie doke, now we're off. Hi, Toby. Hi, buddy. Awesome. All right, well, hey guys. Amanda here with E-Bike Reviews and Adventures. And today, it's a Tuesday. I'm riding on my Troxus. I've got a Toby trailer and a Toby. I promised him last week that we were going to go for a ride, and here we are. So today's video, it is focusing on Toby, because he is a big part of our family, and he's become a big part of e-bike reviews and adventures. He's like our little supervisor that hangs out with us all the time. So I felt that it was necessary that I share his origin story. How you doing back there, bud? He looks like he's enjoying himself. Alright. So Toby here, he came into my life about six, six years ago. He came into my life during a time where I was in a very dark place. I was struggling with an abusive relationship. I was struggling with work, trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. And things just kept falling apart and I couldn't catch a break. And I just got into this really dark spot where I didn't know what to do with myself. Um, there were days where it was hard for me to get out of bed. And there were just days where I would have preferred to be six feet under, you know? Just, I was just in one of those phases of my life. So one day I decided, you know what? I need a dog. I need a dog in my life. I grew up with dogs. So it's time I got my own dog. Now during this time in my life, I was living with an ex. Living on my own, paying my own bills. Um, we didn't have similar schedules, so it oftentimes got lonely. So I got on my laptop one day and I decided check out Humane Society and see kind of what's available. I didn't want to just go out right and find a breeder that had the type of dog that I was looking for. I already knew that I wanted a smaller dog and I always loved dash hounds, but I wasn't sure that I would actually be able to find a dash hound at the Humane Society. Well, as I was scrolling through my laptop, looking at the Humane Society's homepage, I came across a little dash hound, um, and his name was Boonesboro. He was a long-haired dash hound, and he immediately captured my heart with the photo that I saw. So, it was the very next day I went to the Humane Society to take a look at him. And the employee, she gave me a little bit of a background on him. They didn't know a whole lot about him, just that he 
he had been to three different shelters before he ended up in the Humane Society. That broke my heart as well because he was just such a sweet looking dog and I immediately bonded with him. Like he looked lost, he looked like he had been abused. Um, when I took him home that day, <clears throat> I was determined to give this little dog all the love that he deserved, that he may not have gotten in his past life before he came to me. Now, he was a very nervous and shy dog. Uh, the employee at the Humane Society, she made sure to let me know this information um, an hour before I'd actually taken a look at Boonesboro. There was a family, husband, wife, and a little girl that were looking at Boonesboro. And they just, they decided against it because he wasn't very happy and active. He wasn't very playful. He just wanted to hang out in his kennel and keep to himself. He just didn't want to be bothered. So when the employee told me all of this, I immediately, like, I already knew that I was going to take Toby home, or Boonesboro was his name at the Humane Society. I was already determined that I was going to take Boonesboro home and I was going to give him the life that he deserved. So that first night when I brought him home, he was very shy, very nervous. He kept looking up at me like I was going to beat him half to death. And I decided to go and get him a little sweater. I bought him a little black and red striped sweater. Now, I don't typically believe in putting clothing on animals, but Boonesboro was just so nervous and I thought, you know, let me give him something warm and fuzzy to wear. That's kind of comforting. So he wore his sweater. He was hanging out by my shoe rack for the first 24 hours. He didn't really want to eat or drink or do anything um, until that next morning where he actually approached me and hopped up on the couch and he hid behind me. He didn't want to go anywhere near any male figures. They made him very nervous. So after he kind of got used to me, he immediately got attached to me and realized that I was there to protect him, keep him safe, take care of him. And little did he know, he, he seriously saved my life because I was giving up. I don't like admitting that because now I have a different mindset of not giving up. But at the time, I was still young, I was still naive, I was still trying to figure life out. But I was in that point in my life where I wanted to give up. Well, now that I had this sweet dog that I just wanted to give him anything and everything that I possibly could, I had a reason for living again. I had to get up in the morning to take him for his walks. And typically, I didn't have to have him on the leash because he was very codependent on me that he never wandered off. He never wandered off. He never wanted to go chasing after other dogs or go chasing after other people. So he would stay by my side without a leash. He'd do his business. And then he spent the majority of his time laying on the couch next to me while I was doing schoolwork at the time. Um, <clears throat> so he was getting more comfortable with hanging out with us and he just became a huge joy in my life and he's actually the one who inspired me to go to school and get certified as a veterinary assistant which was way cool because um, there came to a part during my semester that we were allowed to bring our own pets to school to kind of practice on and I got to bring him with me to school. He'd sit with me. <laughs> he would actually sit on my desk because he was so little at the time. 
wasn't on the floor. He got to sit on my desk while I was sitting there doing my homework. And all my classmates absolutely loved him too. He just, once he got more and more comfortable with me and going with me to school to be around people and being around animals a little bit, he started to open up way more and his personality really started to shine through. So I had Toby for a couple of years and he was the biggest joy I ever had in my life at the time. Um, but there came a point where I couldn't take care of him anymore. So my parents, <laughs> I think they were a little nervous about taking Toby on just because a couple years prior, we found a jack in a park, and by we, I mean me and my ex found him in a park, and took him home, and couldn't keep him, so my parents ended up inheriting Jack, and then here I had a Toby that he, he needed to go to a good home, and I knew exactly where he was going to end up. He's my dad's best friend, and he is still one of my best friends, too. I may not live with my parents anymore, but every single time that I walk through those doors, you know, the doors to the house, or whether I'm walking up to the open garage, Toby comes running up to see me, and he's just such a happy boy. He really is a joy to have in our lives, despite the fact that, you know, he was in a dark place, I was in a dark place. We came together, we found each other, and now he, he seriously is one of the best pets that I've ever had. He's such a wonderful emotional support animal as well. I don't mind taking him for rides, do I? Do I, Toby? He's like, nah, I'm chilling. I've got the wind blowing through my ears. I don't have a care in the world, except for what's for dinner later. Right, Toby? Yeah, I don't know where I would be right now if it weren't for my love of animals. I absolutely love animals. I have several cats right now at my own place. I can't really take care of a dog right now because I have so many cats. But I do love animals. I'm a huge animal lover. one of the slower rides that I've ever done. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I am riding my Troxxas Explorer. This is my personal bike. And the reason why I like it so much is because it is a little heavier duty. It's a dual type bike. I can sit here on the pavement and ride around in the neighborhood at 9.6 miles per hour with a Toby behind me. Or I can get it up to about 31 miles per hour. So I like to go fast and I also like to off-road a little bit. And that's a big thing for me. Um, how the bike makes me feel and how I feel on the bike, that's, that's super important. I feel a sense of freedom when I'm riding this bike. I feel like I could do anything and go anywhere. Kind of like how when I first met Toby, I brought him into my life. He just had that little light that shifted the darkness that was covering my eyes. And I realized that there's more to life than all my struggles 
all my frustrations, all my hurt. I felt a little sense of freedom. out for any more videos um, of Toby and Toby Cam because we will probably be doing some more of these videos maybe at least one once a week. What do you think Toby? Hey. Hi. Alright guys until next time I'm Amanda and this is Toby.